Hi, and welcome to Sass TV. My name is Belen Bez and Sagittarius. This is a, a pop-up for you. Just something, it's raining outside and everyone's in the house. And let's just do some fun stuff. Okay, here we go, Saggy. I see a blow-up coming in. It's a lot of fire on your cards. There's a lot of negativity on your cards. You decided to end something and move on. Good. At the same time, so how are you going to end something? How are you going to end something and move on and then be upset about it? You ended something and now you're mad about it. That ain't my problem. That's your problem. It just, it just it seems silly, but it, it, you ended something. You're thinking about an ending and, and you don't like it. You're not letting something go here, Sagittarius. Also, at the same time, you're thinking about negotiations and new beginnings. You've been a little bit too sad at this time. Even though something's ended, you still kind of want whatever the situation is back. That comes from things being yanked. You know how you're used to a rug being under your feet and when that rug is gone, you know it's missing. You still want it there only because it has been a routine subject in your life. Thinking about marriage, thinking about commitment, thinking about the next level in relationship relationships that's all over your mind i see someone coming to you about some type of financial situation there's a big ass no in your cards there's a big ass no in your cards when it comes down to somebody okay and the way they're coming to you about situations i'm seeing some type of public offer being turned down for you and you're gonna worry about it okay um also thinking about some type of new beginning when it comes down to career so it's talking about maybe the first for the uh for the last two weeks that's what's been going on in your mind something that's almost tormenting you and it's over but it's here it's over but it's here it's okay with all that that's 14 days of that then you start worrying once that once you released whatever that is then you're going into this new responsibility but yet whoever this is that you either changing over to or whatever this is that you are changing over to you it's almost like you leaving somebody else and going to somebody else but you feel like with this person that you're going in the new direction with or you have not yet begun the direction with them but you know you're going to excuse me <laughs> you know that pop out but anyway you know you're going into the new direction with the individual there's still an issue but this issue is lighter. Public negotiations being that I know someone may come to you and, and offer you something or you may have been waiting on something. You get there and they're going to tell you right out there. Fuck no. They're going to be like, no. And then that's going to kind of embarrass you just a little bit. Or there's someone that's going to kind of publicly humil humiliate you in some kind of way. So this is all about mind frame. This is all about how you see yourself. You have to put yourself in a mind frame of being intact and together, well put together. Be well put together within the next six weeks or so. Because it's it's not all over the place. It's almost like your feelings is hurt about something. Or someone can tend to overly hurt your feelings. Or you will be in your feelings about something. And, and as a result, you move from that person and go into somebody else it's almost like a fated disappointment okay looks good for you traveling towards this new may okay so that's here in your courts this may <clears throat> You you already know them. There is something financial going on with this individual, okay? You do see yourself in a relationship with someone that you're having to reach for love. But see, you'd rather reach for love than this boring ass shit that was going on with somebody else, okay? That change can come in only through your own personal will. Only through you wanting to go do that. You're thinking about all the wrongs. You're thinking about all the wrongs. But for some reason, you're willing to think about all the wrongs because that other shit was boring. Okay, fine. Fine with the other individual, arguments with the non-committal with the other individual. That is what you are seeing. You're seeing it for what it is finally. And I think you're going to be celebrating whatever this is. To say, I gave you the facts and you know the facts. I just presented you with the facts. And at the same time, at the same time, thinking about thinking about this whatever you're going to do in a situation today and tomorrow it will be your finalization or where you're going to make that final big pull in this situation and and you know uh, whatever happened between you or whatever happened with the individual you're still mad but you're still you're not over it yet you're still mad but you're not over it. but you're going to be transitioning into something new transitioning with transitioning with old woes god bless